Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you. Welcome back to Frontline Rejects. Before we get started today, we'd appreciate it if you could help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button and by dropping a comment in the comment section below. And if you'd like to reach out to us directly, send us an email at frontlinerejects at gmail.com. The round that we're testing today is Nosler's 95 grain ballistic tip. Now this is a non-bonded controlled expansion projectile and it's the fifth and for the near future at least last time that we'll be testing it here on Frontline Rejects. We've got it loaded up in our six millimeter arc build and we're very excited to see how it's going to perform. We hope you are as well, so let's get started. Spotter's on. Go ahead and fire when ready. Okay. Don't miss. I'm trying not to. Don't miss. Yeah, this is uh, six arc. You go it? for the left or right jugs? Oh, right jugs. Right jugs. Right jugs. All right, cool. You on? Yeah, I'm on. All right, all right. Are you on? I'm on. Are you on? I don't. I don't. You better be on. I think I'm on. Yeah, it looks like you're on. Not gonna lie, dude. I'm really enjoying shooting your uh, your deer rifle here. Dude, you should get one. Uh, you already got one though. You should get one of the uh, those Savage 110 switchbacks, you know? Yeah. The bolt action six mil arcs with the 22 inch barrel. Oh, that'd be yeah, that'd be nice. They're doing like 500 bucks outdoors. Really, outdoorsman. Uh, utilizing velocity. Yeah, dude. I think that'd be a Savage deer gun. That was a center punch, dude. Beautiful. All day. All right, buddy. Well, uh. 500 yards with the nozzle ballistic tips. Last range with this bullet, and you know what? What's up? It's the fifth time we featured them, so after you shoot, we never have to feature them again. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. We never have to shoot nozzle ballistic tips again. What are we doing after this, then? Dude, I don't know. Oh. We're gonna have to find our way in the world. I mean, provided that you hit it, of course. Are we not doing a uh, five cartridge special? <laughs> we are, but we don't have to shoot for that. Oh. All the shooting is done. Okay. All right. Well, if that's... we get to shoot other bullets that are cooler bullets after this. Well, hopefully, I don't mess this up. Yeah. All Thank day. God. Thank God, we're done. All day. All day. All right, our final test of the Nosler ballistic tip, and I gotta say these might be the best results we've had with this bullet so far. Overall, we have retention of the lead core and good expansion across all ranges fired. Estimated impact velocities have been included, and those were calculated using JBM Ballistics software. At the 100, we got good pancaking from the projectile. The lead smooshed in on itself exactly like we'd expect a non-bonded controlled expansion round to do. At 200, this bullet may have tumbled a bit. The mushrooming isn't as flat as the one, but this recovered projectile did do an excellent job of transferring energy to the targets. The 300 has nice rounded edges consistent with a solid center punch on the jugs giving way to good expansion. 400 is a little goofy, the jacket opened up well but the core didn't expand as fully as the earlier ranges and we may have lost a bit more lead than the previous ranges upon impact. 500 has acceptable expansion like we mentioned earlier, great core retention with no major jacket separation. Moving on to our graphs, we have a pretty even slope for our expansion which peaks 
peaks at 200 yards and then curves downwards as we lose velocity. Weight retention trends higher at each range fired except for the 400, which is where we mentioned we may have lost a little more lead. This gives us average expansion of 1.75 times and average weight retention of 67%. In all four of our previous tests with this bullet, we've seen pretty catastrophic separation between the core and the jacket. In 6mm arc, however, this did not occur, which is similar to results we've seen with a few other thin jacketed bullets when compared to their heavier counterparts. Our working theory right now is that narrower diameter bullets with less frontal surface area will do a better job of compressing the core back into the jacket. On wider bullets, say a 308 diameter ballistic tip compared to this 243 diameter ballistic tip we're using, upon expansion the core peels outward and tears itself free from the jacket. This would certainly be in line with past testing where we ran the 165 grain ballistic tip in 308. We had jacket and core separation at two ranges and an almost complete powderizing of the core at another. We've also found that this bullet doesn't perform well at high velocity. The 6mm arc seems to be a good host for this bullet in its narrower diameter and moderate velocity. With how thin jacketed the ballistic tip is, it expands well at low speeds and that makes it, in my opinion, a lethal option for medium weight game like deer or antelope as it will expand well and deliver every last drop of energy it has. Just be aware that if you choose to run this bullet, which is a choice I would support for specific applications, you will be cutting away a bit more meat than if you used some other options. I had zero complaints with accuracy. This projectile has a modern profile and it was easy to get on target even out at 500 yards. Now that we've completed five tests on the Nosler ballistic tip, we won't be running it again for the foreseeable future. Keep your eyes peeled for the five cartridge review we'll have coming out on the ballistic tip soon where we will be putting together all the data from the tests we've done to try and develop a complete picture of this bullet's strengths and weaknesses and how that realistically applies to you. To make sure you don't miss that and more bullet related content, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. If you got something out of today's content, consider helping us out with a like and a comment for the algorithm, and we'll see you next time.